Recognize your emperor. Yo, morning, morning, people. I have just woken up, but I really had the urge to come play some Super Auto Pets and record it for YouTube because I haven't done anything for YouTube in a hot second. And I figure, why not? You know, I'm all, I, I already woke up hella late. I missed class, but that's fine. You know, we'll play in the arena. So I've been playing Super Auto Pets for a while now. Um, I played it a little bit on stream the other morning because there was a spider that decided it was going to jump into my room at 11 freaking p.m. At 11 p.m. Uh, let's be let's be the milky ears. And so I was up basically for two hours um, just looking around my room to see if there was anything in my room. So, you know what? Let's also put the music on here. All right, we lost this one. But hey, you know, that's nothing new. That's nothing new. I'm still trying to learn um, how best to go about the early game. I really am learning like how best to go about the early game. I'm going to sell this to get like one roll. I think we want the pig anyway. Uh, I'm gonna roll look for a horse or maybe another ant. Why not? And we can roll one more time because we don't want to buff anything with this apple just yet. Okay. So, actually, here's what we do. So, I'm gonna put a pig back here so that hopefully these two ants can buff this one pig. That's what I'm hoping for here. I'll put the, the strongest ant up front. No. Yeah, in case there's a fish. Put the strongest ant up front and then we send it but yeah chat oh got me calling you guys chat I, I stream on twitch all the time and um that's just that's just how it goes for me i guess um dang it of course dude mosquitoes always hit my ants always 100 percent of the time it's a guarantee at this point but yeah, if you've never watched me on Twitch, I stream on Twitch uh, currently Fridays to Tuesdays, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. We do um, we do like whatever game we're playing. Right now, we're wrapping up a Pokemon Sword and Shield Nuzlocke challenge, and uh, we're also doing Outlast. I'm not having fun in Outlast. I don't do horror games. Bison though. We could rock a bison, to be honest. We could also buy the duck first. And then sell it. So that way everything in the shop gets buffed. So, if we buy a pig... Oh, if we sell these two pigs, we get two gold. Which will take us up to 12 here. Which means we can buy four things. If I pill this ant... I could freeze the pill for now, honestly. Which means I can buy one, two, three, four. If I sold everything. Uh, if I'm gonna commit to dog, it's probably best to buy this first. So we buy the dog. We buy the ox after. So that we give the dog a buff. We could sell like one pig. And buy an, a mosquito that we buffed. And I think we're gonna do that. I could level it up next turn, but like, it's not that important anymore. You try to level up um, when you're about to hit like the next round, so you get like a tier higher. Because Ox is tier three, and we just hit tier twos, right? So that's like the uh, the, the secret tech. So I can actually freeze this and roll one, just to see what we got. But we're gonna prioritize, um the higher statted unit and we're gonna rock with this but yeah um i stream fridays to tuesdays and we do um friday monday tuesday we do like something fun something exciting uh like i said we're wrapping up a pokemon sword and shield nuzlocke and after that we're gonna check out a game called lumion um aside from that however we do do community streams on saturdays 
and then I'm a student at university here in Barbados so I do um oh nice we won I do some study streams on Sundays so that I can actually study something but then after that then we just play like whatever we're playing on Mondays and Tuesdays so it kind of works out for us um so I hope you guys will be able to stop on by that's twitch.tv slash nickels and I C K L E Z or one yeah so hopefully you guys can stop on by give me a follow and I'll catch you guys there and now we have 12 so you see I here's the thing I want to hit either this ox or this dog the buff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pill you here I hit the ox so I guess we keep the ox then and it starts off with melon armor which means I could realistically put it up front right if we put it, oh, actually, I can do one, two, three, hit the dog. Not a good hit on the flamingo. I really should have done it in, in a different order. But I just realized, oh, I can get more triggers for the ox. If the flamingo dies and then the bee dies as well. Um, I think I'm going to put the dog last. I mean, axe white. I kind of like to have like a, a heavy sided unit at the back and a heavy sided unit at the front. But I also want something that can do damage up front. So that's why I don't want to put the otters up front there. Uh, I'll do it. I'll leave it like this. I'll put my damage up front. Hopefully these otters never have to hit. As you can see, they only have one damage. So I know that I kind of avoid it out right now. It's just a green screen, like trying to act on my um, on my uh, what's it called? On my shirt. Let's speed it up here. We got double triggers. Uh, oh, we actually won. Nice. One of the otters managed to take it. But also, they only really had like three members on their team. Okay, so. Dodo is good for scaling. Like, the earlier you get it, the better. So you can start pumping into it. But I think this is a late kind of Dodo. We could grab a rabbit and then feed the dog so it gets plus one health. We're definitely selling these two otters. So, we're gonna buy... We're gonna buy this rabbit. And we're gonna garlic the dog. For sure. I think we roll and just buy one more thing. Or I can buy, like, the Dodo and buy meat on the bone for the rabbit I could buy the dodo actually I can meet on the bone the dodo so that it gets some um, so it gets some health because dodo plus ox could be useful I think that's a little better than well we are at tier 3's now what tier 3 could we want here there's like rams um, whales now, but we don't really want to whale. Turtles. Turtles are good. But we kind of already have melon and, um, garlic on our dudes. Oh, you know what? The bison always starts with melon armor now. Not that it really matters because it gets it. I can do something like this. But I have nothing to put behind. I don't think we really need meat on the bone. I'm going to roll. There we go. Second dog. Camel, maybe. Camel actually makes this a little better because we can do something like this now. Alright, we can do something like this where we put the camel behind the flamingo. No, I think we just keep it like this. Alright, I'm going to freeze this dog. I can actually buy a ram. No, but it only goes to plus three. This is interesting. I could also feed the dog the apple to get plus one, plus two. Or I can make a 9-9 ox. I could make a 9-9 ox. Decisions, decisions, people. Decisions, decisions. I'll freeze the apple. I don't really want to freeze an apple, but you only get peers later on. Um, I could buy a duck. And then sell it next turn to give everything in the shop plus one plus one. Which means you can get a stronger dog if you want to. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, we get one more roll. Kangaroo. That's what I want to see here. That's what I want to see, actually. Kangaroo is, like, great. I think if I put Kangaroo behind this dog, it'll actually pop. So, yeah, we're going to rub. We're going to rub with the Kangaroo. We'll freeze the dog here. Uh, we don't really need to freeze this apple. But it's not bad to have an apple because we'll, we'll um... We'll start buffing this with the rabbit, uh, with the rabbit as well. We'll start buffing it like that. So I think this is good to go. We get triggers on our ox. We buff our dog. The dog end up buffing the uh, the kangaroo. All right, this is a summoner or faint build, as some call it. Well, people more rather call it the summoner build than the faint build, but I call it a faint build. So the the bee trades with the spider, which is great, and we kill whatever appears here. Even though it really just salts the uh, melon armor there. But we trade with the whale. The dog basically wins this for us. If not the dog, the freaking kangaroo does for sure. I honestly think like garlic armor is one of the best things in this game. I really do. Garlic armor is so good. Okay. So we could just pill this. We really could pill the flamingo. Then we get a B, which, which we can sell the B. Huh. Okay. We can pull the flamingo. We sell the B and we go back to 10, which means we still get to roll one time and buy three things. But for sure. Actually, the order in which we do things could help out here. Because if you buy the dog before you combine it, you actually get plus one to the dog, which is it, it could make a difference. The question is, do we want to... We're not really committed to this Flamingo. We didn't really add on to it. To the level when we saw one earlier. But also the Ox will get plus two. Yeah, so our Ox is a lot stronger now. So we can sell the bee. We can buy the dog. We get plus one to health. We combine the dog here. We could consider feeding this Kangaroo an apple. Or we can feed the ox the apple it'll get plus two plus one so it goes to like a 12 10. i kind of like even numbers to be honest with you but let's give it to the kangaroo ox is already pretty good we roll one time swan is not a bad buy so we can either do swan for one extra gold which is nice or we could do Blowfish to kind of chip them away if it survives one hit. If it doesn't survive one hit, it's not that great. But it has more of a chance to survive one hit, but it's only by one point. At this stage of the game, people are going to have like um, really high damage units up front. As you can see, I have high damage units up front. So I think we play Economy. We put the Swan up front so that it can potentially trade with any low health things. Like a Flamingo or an Ant. Um, maybe even a Turtle. And it also triggers for our ox. Also triggers for the ox. It doesn't really do anything else, actually. We could put the rabbit up front. Oh, we want more health. Oh, we don't want more health. What's up front is likely to either be heavily statted for damage or low health. So the rabbit dying doesn't matter. Heavily statted for damage. Yeah, Blowfish tech is probably going to hit our ox. Didn't hit the ox. Kill this. Kill that. We pop that. I think this is a win, people. I think this is the win. Cheers. I'm drinking like uh, a vitamin C capsule. It's just like one of those capsules you toss in some water. And uh, you get the, the supposed amount of vitamin C for the day so that's what i'm doing i do that every morning honestly I do that every morning i wake up i just go in the kitchen and grab some um like vitamins and and uh and vitamin c as well and then that's just like my morning it, it at least wakes me up i don't know if you guys are like me but like when water touches my body on mornings or at any point really i just wake up so i don't need to commit to the swan the swan was a nice buy for that previous round but we don't need to commit to it right 
we're gonna sell this rabbit. So, I'm thinking maybe we can buy a shrimp for now. We feed, feed, we sell the rabbit. Okay, so if we buy the shrimp, we go to 9 gold. This is 6 gold, 9 gold spent. So we'll go down to 3. We sell this, and then we buy the giraffe for the kangaroo. That's what I'm thinking, but I only really get one trigger of the shrimp. I do want to keep this, the giraffe. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed this and hope that it hits anything but the rabbit. Of course it hits the rabbit. Rabbit doesn't feed itself. I just realized. It's good to know. Okay, so now we get plus two plus three. Pears are much better than apples, which is why we don't want to spend three gold on plus one plus one. We can just spend three gold on plus two plus two. But also you could say you get the apple much, much earlier so you can get more stats earlier potentially. I'm going to feed the kangaroo here, maybe. Kangaroo essentially gives itself pure stats every time someone ahead of it hits. So the more times this can hit, the better. But, again, we're going to fight some high-level stuff. We'll buy this. We'll roll one. We have no level twos. That's quite sad for us. We can freeze here. We can freeze here. And actually, we can sell this to grab a spider. You know, what's funny is that the night that that freaking spider came into my room, I decided to stream Super Auto Pass at like 2 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. And the game gave me nothing but spiders. Like, it actually gave me nothing but spiders. But the reason we bought this is because when this dies, which is gonna, right, it will summon something else. So our ox essentially gets plus four to attack and it refreshes any melon armor that could have been sniped at any point we freeze the snail in case we lose we have two health so we can lose one more time and we're hoping to scale up these three these are our core right now this is the core the ox the dog and the kangaroo here yeah, unfortunate for us because we're going to end up buffing this crab a lot because of our strategy But we can punch through both. Let's speed it up. We can punch through both the camel and this. No, we can't. But we kill this. We take seven from that. Dude, this is a win. Nice and easy. The power of garlic armor. The power of garlic armor, people. Here we go. Five wins, two health. We're half and half right now. Okay, so we didn't lose. We can unfreeze this nail now. We no longer have the... um. We no longer have the rabbit, so buying food may not be the greatest thing. It's still good to do, but it might not be the greatest. We don't want this spider. Actually, we don't really want anything here. We could buy a squirrel to maybe get like good food. Maybe a garlic armor for this kangaroo. Um, That'll be nice. We, okay, let's start by selling. We can buy a pier. Okay, let's see how much money we have to spend. If you buy a squirrel, no. We only have... Uh, I'm bad at math. 10, 9, 8 gold to spend. Right? Then we sell the squirrel, then we have 3 buys. So that means we have to commit to 3 sources of food. I don't think I like that, to be honest. I think I'll just roll. Hope to hit garlic armor instead. Oh, you know what? Badger plus Ox is interesting synergy. Because the Badger is going to die and do big damage to the thing in front and behind. But the Ox gives Melon Armor to itself. So it always soaks that hit. It always soaks that hit. The question is, will the Ox give itself the Melon Armor before or after the Badger triggers? I actually want to try it. So we're going to science this for a bit here. And we're just going to double... Ah, uh, we'll freeze this beer. We'll roll one. Okay. Okay, things have changed. Things have changed. I was saying to myself, if I... Oh, I can actually sell the giraffe and buff and get the monkey instead. Because giraffe only gives plus one, plus one to the dude ahead. But 
one, it's already at like a perfect number, you know. And two, if it buffs the badger and the badger works out how we think it will, that'll be interesting. Even if we don't commit to the badger, we have melon armor on our ox, so we can start buffing our ox, right? So we're gonna sell the giraffe, we're gonna buy the monkey, we're gonna freeze this badger. If it works out for us, that the uh, the badger hits the melon armor first, and then we refresh the melon armor. That actually be perfect. So we can roll one time, dude. Level two dog, level two monkey. We probably don't need the pair, but let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna hope to do more recordings like this for YouTube specifically. Let's see how this goes, okay. Uh oh, we got double blowfist synergy. Well, unfortunately, we don't even get to test what we wanted to test there. Don't hit this dog. I think we win. Yeah, we're good. Okay, unfortunately, we don't get to test it because the melon armor got sniped. But we won. So we take that. I can actually pill this badger right here to test it. Right? We can actually pill the badger to test. But no, because... No. We, it, okay, we would test it. Because we see if the badger triggers first and then the ox. Which I think is what's gonna happen. Let's get a level 2. Ooh. 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 Actually. That's interesting. Ah. Uh... We can sell the badger that we already have to pill this mammoth and rebuy another badger. Oh my god, okay. Here's the thing. We're only really buying this badger to test the synergy with the ox. We don't have to commit to this. We can always do this at another time. We can always do this another time. It's, it's only perfectly set up because this ox already has a melon armor. Um, we could sell this, buy the Mammoth, pill the Mammoth, which gives everything plus 2 plus 2, and it gives the Ox plus 4, technically. Um, and then buy the Monkey, and then double Monkey buff the Ox here. Which is great. That's, like, fantastic. Or, if you really want to commit to this Badger play, we can buy the second Badger, which is going to be worse, because it has less damage. I don't even remember how this got buffed, but... Let's go for good plays here, people. We're gonna pill this. We got a 1510 ox with melon armor. We got a 1721 dog with garlic armor. We buy the second monkey for sure. All right, so now we're gonna get uh, plus four every time we end our turn on this ox. So this is gonna be a 1914 ox. I did that math really fast in my head and I'm quite proud of myself. I think we forego the badger attack. We roll one. Is there anything we really want to give this pure to? I don't think so, so we can unfreeze it. Uh, we don't really need to commit too many buffs on our dog anymore. And the kangaroo, as long as the kangaroo, as long as the dog survives, the kangaroo will do work. We want to get melon, we want to get uh, garlic armor for our kangaroo, actually. Okay. So, let's hope that we manage to run into anything but a deer. Okay, no deers. But this is going to snipe one of our monkeys. We don't care though, because we got the stat from the monkey already. Bison is going to do some work here. Our ox, rather. Okay, we do manage to kill their ox. Dude, our team is looking kind of nice. First game of the day. So, bright Tuesday morning. Class is already missed. We can buy canned food. It's kind of late for canned food, but better late than never, I guess. It's going to buff all the future animals as well. So we can buy canned food. We can definitely level up our... Actually. Okay. I messed up. I messed up. The plan should have been to level... No, because tier 6s are next anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you level no or not. We got to fly. We got to fly. That's interesting. 
No, that's interesting. Fly. I, I want to build one time with flying kangaroo. It was quite interesting. Okay, do we can we rock with this fly? I don't think there's a place to put it because the ideal thing would be to put the fly ahead, like to have something die ahead of the ox, right? So like we can put the monkey up front, but then the monkey buffs nothing. The monkey buff is more important. Also, we just leveled it, so we want it to level. We want it to do something. We can actually do it like this. Where our dog gets buffs. The dog ramps up our kangaroo early. When the kangaroo dies, uh, the ox will then trade with anything. The ox will die at some point. So what I'm really asking here is <clears throat> what's better between melon armor or garlic armor? Is it melon armor only soaks up to 20 damage? Garlic armor always reduces damage taken by two. I really don't think we rock the fly. It's kind of awkward for our build here. We could freeze a scorpion. Is guaranteed trade with anything? Here's a garlic armor for a kangaroo. But we do want to have a full squad, I think. I think prioritizing a full squad might be better. I don't want to buy the scorpion to put it in front of the ox. And I don't want to buy the scorpion to put it up front because of the monkey. The monkey's going to buff it. And it's not that important for the scorpion to have to um get buffs it's not that important for the scorpion to get buffed up so we could freeze a snail i want a full squad i really do i really do but this garlic armor could take us to a win if we lose it's still not that bad because we have one life to play with and we have a frozen snail so the question is Guaranteed trade with one thing up front, which could be worth it. Or do we just play, uh, play for pure stats? I think we go back to how it was, and then we buy the scorpion. We're going to freeze the garlic. We definitely want the dog up front. If the ox can't kill something, the scorpion definitely will. And then the dog will start fighting whatever is clean up front. So we do it like this. I do take like quite a bit to um to think and plan out my my strat here. I, I just love that. I just love that in, like this kind of game. Okay, good thing we didn't put the scorpion up front because okay, we pop the melon and we kill the blowfish up front immediately. And this is perfect because we just win. This is why we think, people. This is why we think. So good thing we didn't put the scorpion up front because oh dude level three monkey inbound uh we didn't put the scorpion up front because if it did then it would have traded with the the turtle and the turtle wants to die right so that's not necessarily great we don't really want to trade melon for melon we want to trade melon for melon plus one animal you know this is interesting. We didn't lose, so we can unfreeze that. We can actually do this. We definitely want this. We roll one time. Uh, excuse me? Um, we can freeze the mammoth. Actually... I think we ditched a scorpion for a second monkey. This is going to give plus six to this ox. Plus six to the ox. We definitely want to freeze this kangaroo. Okay. Plus six to the ox. Or do we want a scorpion? Scorpion trades are nice. But we have to think about the gold that we want to spend next turn as well. Plus, if we freeze too many things, we don't get many rolls next turn. I'm freezing a mammoth because eventually we're going to sell this scorpion. All right, there's going to be one free slot. So if you find a pill, we, we mammoth, we pill, we buff everything. I think... Shit, this is, this is hard. We have one life to play with, but 
then that means we have one life left, which is not that great. Um, I'm going to play for level 3, monkey. I'm going to play for level 3, monkey. Plus, we also get one more trigger for the dog. We can actually roll one. Here's the pill. So next time we can combine this, we buy the mammoth, we pill it, and we go from there. So we let it rock. Plus six on our freaking ox. I've never used an ox before. I've never used an ox before. Okay, so Mel- Ooh! A weak squad. A level one. I think this is a win. Dude. Super simple win. Holy shit. Dude, first game of the day? First game of the day and we're already almost like winning? Excuse me. Okay, I just saw the mushroom. Instead of pilling this, we can actually we can actually give it a one up. So when it dies, it's gonna die. Dude, actually, this is quite nuts. Like mammoth is great in front of the ox, right? It'll give plus two plus two to everything. It'll give plus two to the ox. It'll refresh melon armor in case it gets sniped. It comes back. It gives plus two plus two to everything. It gives plus two to the ox. So it gives plus eight to the ox. Eight damage plus four health and attack to everything else. That's quite insane. I'm still freezing the pill in case. We want to pill it. We can roll one time. If we get another mammoth, which we didn't. But if we did, I was considering pilling this one. Oh, but then I wouldn't have the money. Good thing we didn't do that. So we're actually just going to one-up this mammoth here. Oh, no, but the mammoth gets buffed. Ooh, the mammoth get, gets buffed by the monkey. That's not great. But it'll still trade with something. Hopefully. Plus 8, plus 12 mammoth up front. When you kill it, you got to kill it again. You're just going to buff our team. All right, here's a bison with garlic armor up front. They have a fly and a level 3 fish. Okay, we trade with the bison. Actually, we beat the bison. Kill the fly. We kill the fly. We kill the bus. Kangaroo gets buffed. Kill the fly. Kangaroo gets buffed. Kill the chicken. Kangaroo gets buffed. The chick. I'm the fly. Guys, this is a win. Garlic dog plus kangaroo behind it. That's the early meta. Dude. First game of the day, and we won. Absolutely crazy. The milky ears, people. The milky ears. We're taking it. Yo, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much. Um, consider subscribing. Hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hey, even hit the dislike button. Who knows? Drop me a comment. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often. So, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.